fix your defending, I'm going to show you how to defend an FC24. First of all, get rid of advanced defending. I'll explain this later on, but if you, some of you guys can't tackle because you've got advanced defending on. Reversing a, a player, I pause this game, this is a good example to use because this player is very good, unique, uses different play styles and different movement. Now, you have to watch this entire video. There's a lot of things I've got to talk about. The first thing is you can't use a jockey button anymore. You have to use the run and jockey and you have to be able to variably control your speed. The problem is, is that look, you see how my opponent is making a tackle like that. Nowadays you have now the new feature which is called the control sprint. So now you can run at 75% speed and you see if you use a normal jockey button, it's very hard to keep up with a player like that. With the run and jockey you can variably control the speed. The key thing is with defending though, is to not press the tackle button. I'm being dead serious. You just want to nerf into the ball. You see that there with Lorente? See, I didn't, I didn't actually tackle the ball, but I ran to where the ball is going to be. Remember, guys, it's all about the basics. Remember, I've always taught you in my FIFA school, even on my public YouTube, it's all about the basics. Whenever you're defending, you run to where the ball is. If you're not in a position to get the ball, you don't go and go and be aggressive. Now, this play is good because they use a lot of through balls, so there's going to be a good example here. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to, I'm going to lose the ball here deliberately, show you some phases of play. I'm going to pass the ball back to my opponent here, let my opponent get the ball off me again. Now watch, if you be aggressive like this and you miss the ball, you're in trouble. Because now, if, if you lose the ball in midfield, the best way to get through is a simple driven pass. It's the best way to get through. So that is why you want to be a bit more passive, like here. Be a bit more passive, don't lose the ball. Use the running jockey, so I'm going to run back now. Use the running jockey. I'm not going to tackle, I'm not going to commit my position. Holding them away from goal, you see that? Holding them away, holding them away. Cut inside, defend the angle towards goal. Then I win the ball back. A bit unlucky in the deflection, but still going to hold the ball. See that? I didn't tackle the ball not one time in that segment I played. You see that? I'm going to lose the ball again. It's going to give the ball back to my opponent. Or let the opponent take the ball off me, rather. Same thing here. If I'm not too sure, I'm just going to run back. Not take him. See, I'm not bringing my back foot out. I'm going to run back here. Not too sure, so I'm going to run back across. Use the run and jockey. Block the passing lane out. You, if they are going to get a chance, you want them to create a chance. Not like my opponent did. You don't want to run like that. But if, you want, if you want them to get a chance, you want them to get a half chance. Shooting from a wide angle. You don't want to be making mistakes. The second thing comes along with losing the ball. Do not lose the ball. I've seen so many clips over the last four days. People losing the ball here, then they're panicking. Unless you've got someone like Ronaldo who's got pace like that that you can recover, you're going to struggle. Don't do what Jorginho did early on today in the Arsenal game. By the way, I was there shocking from Jorginho. But that's what you don't want to do. Don't lose the ball in a key area. So many goals I'm seeing. Do you know why you're getting countered? It's because you're losing the ball. If you're unsure in this situation, you can't, make, you can't be safe. Just take a touch away like this, simple. That's it. All you got to do is take a touch away. Don't try dribbling past anyone. Take a touch away. If you're not sure, lob the ball away. I promise you, if you stop doing that, I promise your goals will probably go down by half. Because half the goals people concede are from counter attacks, like losing the ball here. Even if you're quick enough to run back here, your opponent could do an L1 triangle ball over the top and they'll be able to get the ball off you. So like here, I'm used to running jockey, going to run to where the ball is. Going to control it. Now look here, I'm going to be careful. I don't want to lose the ball here, so I'm going to go backwards here. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm going to use the L1 button, push that player forward. Now I've got the ball forward again. So if I want to go forward, use the L1 button or go around. Again, run and jockey. Got the placement. Again, you're going to lose the ball again. Here, I'm going to use the run and jockey. Going to cover. Now, I see that player making a run. I'm going to switch to my centre-back early. Run in front. Now, you see I got bit BS there. I relied on goalkeeper movement there to save me. Now, to be honest... Defending is a bit, in some situations, a bit awkward. I think that's to do with the way the game registers certain situations. I think the AI blocks, you probably know what I'm talking about. Um, the way I look at it this year is that AI blocks, if you have the the playstyle um, block or the playstyle plus for block, that's how blocking should be for everyone. But it's not. So I feel like they need to buff the region of blocking. I think they will and interceptions. Now, this is why playstyles are so important. You need to have centre backs here that have got pace. Um, pace is the most important thing. I've got intercept and block um, for one centre back, and the other one hasn't have it. But also pace. You cannot use someone here, guys, that's got like below 80 sprint speed, in my opinion. You just cannot. If you're going to use 80 sprint speed, look, it's fine if you want to play in Division 10. That's fine. You want to sit there, that's fine. But if you want to go to lead division, you've got to use players that got good sprint speed. Even better. If you can get players like this, he got, she got the jockey play style. 
Do you see she's got the jockey playstyle? She's got the jockey playstyle as well. The jockey playstyle means you're able to move quicker when you're running jockeying. That is why you're getting beat because I feel like what EA have done this year is that they've made the normal jockey what the, the playstyle is of jockey. So like last year, I feel like they've nerfed interceptions, they've nerfed blocks, and they've nerfed intercept, uh, interception, jockey, and blocks all in general, which makes it difficult for you to get the ball. So you've got to run in front and anticipate the ball like this. See that? You've got to anticipate early. And Banyos, 600 coins, try Banyos. She's a really good car. She's got the jockey play style. Yes, she's a bit slower. So now it's not just about pace entirely. You also need to get the jockey play style. But you can't go with a center back because people are thinking, oh, can I use a center back with 60 pace with a jockey play style? No, you cannot. You need both. Unfortunately, there's only a few players. Not everyone can afford Kunde. Again, saying I'm not too sure. So I'm going to lean back here because I know Malin could do any sort of run here. So I'm just going to lean back, use the run and jockey here. I'm waiting for the cutback here. He's defending the angle towards goal. They're not making a tackle, defending the angle towards goal. And you see, that player's taking a shot from an off angle. There's no danger there. You see how I let that person go down that re region, but I'm stopping that person from going into the middle where the real danger is. From goal kicks, but I mean, so from corner, should I say, you can move the goalkeeper. It's probably one of the be best ways of defending those, um, those corners, should I say. Just so many things here to say. The second thing as well is player selection. Try to go for the tallest players. The, all women in the team are meta everywhere apart from defense. And the reason for that is because they haven't really got the height. Um, because the natural the average woman is shorter. So I'm going to defend this first. See how I pushed on, on, the, on the offside. So don't use uh, short players in goal in centre back. Unfortunately, most women in the team are meta everywhere else. Like in striker, you can see all my strikers are women. But all my, as you can see, all my other players, like my goalkeeper and stuff like that, um, they are all um, taller players. I've got Ranild and Eric Cabello in centre back. Again, going to use a 1 2. Going to get the ball going forward. See, look, see how my opponent made that tackle there? See how his defense is completely exposed. I hope this player doesn't live. He or she doesn't leave. But do you see how that opponent's defense was entirely exposed there? Just because that player committed one play. You see now I want to keep everyone in line. It makes it difficult for my opponent to get through. They're going to be forced to go down the wing. And then make a tackle, make header. Now you see, that is why you don't want to use a goalkeeper. That, I mean a centre back that is short. See that example over there? That's the reason why. Can you imagine my centre back got beaten through by a header there? Can you imagine someone who's like five foot seven? So just do bear that in mind. I'm just going to play just a bit, a bit nor normally here because I don't want my opponent to think that I'm taking the mick. Um, but like here, we use the run jockey. It's my centre back. See, I'm not going to run forward with my centre back there because my centre back needs to be back in centre back. See that? Back in position. Not bringing the back foot out. Going to run where the ball is going to be. See that? See how also Ronaldo's getting beaten? But you see how I prevented that by running where the ball's going to be. And you see, I didn't commit the tackle there. I let the ball come to me. I let the game kind of get the ball for me. You don't need to tackle. Tackle is only if you think you can't win the ball. Now, this is important. Most people that tackle, this is very, honestly, maybe missed this deliberately. The most important thing is, the average player doesn't know when to tackle in this game. I'm telling you, they don't know. Even players in the elite division don't know when to tackle. Because if you do, your player makes a tackle and then they commit forward. You don't need to tackle. Just go in front like that. See, Ludmilla, Ludmilla she's got like... 20 stand tackling you see how i win the ball back by just going in front there's no need to tackle over there then here's someone who's to run and jock here so i'm going to run back now so you can see i'm going to run directly in a straight line to get from a to b as quick as i can use my cdms if you're not too sure use the formation like the 4 2 3 1 because you can win the ball back see with eric cabello there i won the ball back again so if, if you're really struggling, you can use cut passing lanes with your CDM. It doesn't make a big difference. So if you have to choose your centre back, see like here, I'm just going to run back now. I'm going to run back completely. I'm not even going to contest it. Going to make sure I run back and I get the ball all the time. This is what I'm talking about from, from goal kicks. This is how you move the goalkeeper like this. And that way you can prevent the headers. Going to use the runner jockey again. Again, I'm going to push that player wide, push that player wide. And you can see this player, look, because she, she's a striker or winger. See how the running jockey is so slow. Do you see that? But if I use a centre back now, see how the running jockey is much quicker. Going to use a lob ball. Going to pass the ball back to my opponent over here. Again, same thing. Running jockey. Able to get the ball back. And again, 
If you're in a situation like this, pass the ball back to the goalkeeper and lob it. Don't lose the ball. Because if you lose the ball in this situation here, it's almost impossible. Let's say you lost the ball over here. It's almost impossible to recover because now you're in the play out of position. You've got to hope for everyone to come back in time and you've got to somehow recover this situation. So don't lose the ball in those situations at all. Um, as I was saying, um, yes, CDM's cut pass and lane instruction does help because they're positioned a bit better. Slide tackles are also very good, but be careful. Slide tackles are a bit broken right now. But if you try to slide to block the shot and the angle, it's a very good chance of winning the ball. But just be careful because slide tackles, the angles right now are partly broken. But you can slide tackles. I'm going to show you some examples like here to extend your reach. It's like here. I'm going to gonna move forward, going to go forward. Not going to slide tackle yet. I'm going to switch players here, going to slide here to block the shot. So you see, I can't pause the game, but what I did there is I covered the angle, the cross angle. You see that? So if, play, if the player did make a shot, there's a big chance I would have defended that. I'm going to slide tackle here because there's a chance. I'm going to use the run and jock here. Look, defend the angle towards goal. That should be offside, I believe. It wasn't offside. Wow, what a ball that would have been there. I'm just going to defend a bit normally now and play a bit normally for the second half of this, well, the last 10 minutes, should I say. Again, going to run back. The idea is if you do get beaten, because it's not impossible um, for someone to get past you, right? But if you do get beaten, you get beaten by a good goal. It's going to run back here. You see Patrick staying position, using the running jockey here. Running jockey. Keeping the shape, not not breaking the back line. Using the running jockey here. Again, got the ball back. A bit unlucky. I think my opponent didn't even think they were going to get the ball either. I'll do a full defending video. I've never seen so many. I've not ever done a defending video this early on in the year. I've seen so many video requests on the defending. Neil, can you release one? I'm struggling so bad. I think if you follow this to a T, you would at least improve the amount of goals you can see. You don't believe me? Count the amount of goals you concede now. As long as you're doing what I'm telling you, you will not concede because most of them are from mistakes, especially when you're losing the ball from a counter attack like this and then you're running out with a the CDM. Then you're aggressing. You're like, oh no, what do I do now? I'm going to keep my back line in check again. And if you're not sure, you're really not sure, just take the player out. Get the yellow card. If in doubt, take the yellow card. That's it. Ask questions later. That's you're really not sure. And that is why I was going to say with advanced defending, be careful. If you remap your controls, you can't use advanced defending um, because now X is a shoulder seal out. So if your X button is a tackle button, if you had advanced defending on, you couldn't use it because the game will then attempt to do a shoulder seal out instead of a tackle. Again, here's the running jockey. Keep the opponent at bay. I'm going to use a run jock here to stop the cutback. I'm looking for the cutback here to defend the angle towards goal here. Going for the side for the shot. Going for the slide again for the shot. And see how, okay, this is important. Did you see that? I'm going to try to replay that and show you that at the end of the video. Did you see how the game actually messed up that situation there? Did you see how I slid early, but the game messed it up? That is what you're going to be experiencing. Let me just give my opponent the win. <sighs> Ran out of time, but... I'm going to quickly turn off my camera here and I'm going to show you that clip. I've just highlighted that clip over there. I'm just going to show you now. I'm going to show you that clip one second. Bear with me. We're going to go over that clip now. Have a look over here, yeah, guys? I'm going to change screens. You should be able to see it. Like, have a look. Now watch what happens over here. You can see my mouse on the screen. I'm going to go forward a little bit. Now you see over here, at this point, where was it? Just over here. Do you see here? I press the slide button now, but the game is so delayed, it slid after I lost the ball. You really got to be careful. This is currently a big issue with slide tackles. If you're part of my Twitch stream, you will know what I'm talking about. There's an issue with delaying of slide tackles, but also actions in general. That is why I say don't make a tackle because even if, for example, like here, I know from experience, I'm sliding across here. You see that? I'm sliding to cover this shot from going across goal here. But because of the delay, the way it worked, it registered the slide tackle so late and it ended up tackling the player. That's why you got to be very careful how you move out of position. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. As I said, keep everyone in shape. Use the running jockey. Don't use the jockey button because it's just too slow. Only use it in a small, minute situation. Hope this helped. I'll go over a full defending video very, very soon. But for now, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.